Aloha everybody, it's Jim Channon from the Bioport here in North Kohala. Go Planet! Today, uh, I'm going to sort of wrap up the idea about land crafting. Land crafting is our word, you may recall, for what we think of as agriculture in the future. And it's an agriculture that includes everything from very primary understanding of native Hawaiian ancient practice all the way to social architecture and there are about seven layers in between. What I want to do today is to take our primary new economy which is how to take a 20 acre agricultural parcel because we have a hundred of those now that are going up on the blocks and they will more than likely be bought by a single family and the family's going to be very concerned about building their home. But as for the other 19 and a half acres, <laughs> they're going to need a lot of help. So I'd like to give you a, a pretty clear idea of what a 20-acre parcel looks like. Peel back each one of the little skills and types of jobs that could come out of this uh, particular approach to the agriculture in our future. So we're looking at a piece of land here. This is downhill, this is uphill, here's the homestead, so to speak. Uh, uphill, we have power elements and we have forest and whatnot, sort of in a permaculture mode. And downhill, we have a lot of viewscape. And uh, so I'll break down the pieces as we go, pretty much starting in the upper corner. Zone 5, permaculture, thing farthest from the house, timber, firewood up here in this corner. How much? Maybe four or five acres. Who takes care of it? Well, an arborist. An arborist, that's somebody who deals with trees, the life of a tree, pruning trees, taking care of trees, and taking trees down. One of the elements of landscaping, or land crafting, but also an element that may be so specialized in some cases that somebody here in Kohala would have a small firm uh, for arborist kind of activities. Uh, as we move across the top here we've got wind energy with probably some of the new 4kW or 5kW uh, wind generators. Uh, the generators now they're big big industry is focusing on the large ones right now but pretty soon they're going to be coming down to the smaller ones. We, mani we, we want to look at that and who sells those, by the way? Is that something the land crafter can just order, go and pick up at the dock and bring? Maybe, if it's not too big. But there also might be an alternative energy business in Kohala that does the new solar and the new wind and, and various other things that are coming along and make deliveries to these hundred different Ag 20 parcels. Water reserve. Do we need to dig a well? Well, that's a big truck digging a well. But in this case, the water may come from a well or some other place, including catching the water to some degree. But for a whole parcel like that, this water needs to be managed and it probably needs to be in a water reservoir at the top of the property. And uh, so you can always have some and you can have a reserve. Can the land crafter deal with that? Yeah, to the degree that the land crafter can carry around small pipes and water distribution systems and culverts and things like that, yes. Um, on a bigger parcel, if the well is big and pumping is required, maybe you need a small water company here in Kohala to take care of that kind of thing. So here we're already mentioning primary companies, small companies, and then the skills of land crafting to deliver the services to the property. Here we have what we call a food forest. Most people are not really very familiar with that. This is your deep reserve in time, times when food gets scarce, meaning doesn't come from the shipping industry. What is it? It's a mixed orchard, mostly fruit, probably some other kinds of things besides fruits, nuts, and etc. Uh, and it grows fairly randomly, and it needs to be managed by somebody with a good pruning sense so that the light from the sun gets most of the trees as it comes down. Landcrafter? Yeah, they can do that.